Okay, we're on the air. I'm coming to you live on YouTube, man. Well, I am the one on it, Matthew Jane Glasper Sr., my grandson, Ed Foster. What we're going to do today for you is to help out a lot of you point fighting guys and also full contact MMA, UFC, whatever you do, stand up. If you take knowledge and take note to this, you can end your fight a little faster where you're not able to stop your opponent, you could stop him or her, whichever the case may be. But you have to pay attention. I was in the game for years and years before a lot of people even really thought about too much about karate. I was there. I was there when there was no glove, no pads, no shin pads. I was there. So there's a lot of things that I learned down through the years that I'm trying to pass it on and I'm uploading it to YouTube so you can take advantage of it. It's free. You don't have to pay that $150 a month or that $100 a month or whatever the case may be. But if you pass it up and somebody else see it and take advantage of it, because everybody in martial arts, everybody in boxing is not determined to be that champion that they want to be. Yeah, a lot of people want to be a champion, but they don't want to put in what it takes. So they'll see it and go, oh, yeah, so what? Then the person that really wants to see it, they be go, ooh, oh, wow, ooh, oh, my goodness. Ooh, okay, I see what they're talking about. Oh, okay. And they start whooping everything on the planet. Just in a couple of weeks or just in one week of watching over and over once they get programmed. Because of they're so hungry. The program will take a, a, a emotional effect on their mind so they don't forget when they need it. Okay. Uh, give me the fighting stance. Okay, we're going to start out with a back fist. He's going to throw a back fist. What we're dealing with now is breaking timing, not timing. We first, we, I'm going to show you what timing is. A lot of you, well, I know what timing is. I hope so. We're going to show you timing, and then we're going to show you breaking timing. I learned to fight in breaking time is what made me better than my opponent in a lot of situations. Back fist, block, black fist, back fist, stop. That's very good. That's time. I'm stopping in front where he got me locked in at. Okay, back fist, breaking time. Back fist, I closed the gap on his movement. That is breaking timing. I close. I don't sit back there and wait till he come all the way out. Because then him coming all the way out, all they have to do is double, bam, bam. He got me. Or go, bam, bam. He got me. So if I jam up his process, then I got him. But if I wait and he change up on me, or he do a quick one-two on me, he got me again. Because see, I don't, I don't cross block, right? I don't cross block the back fist or a jab into the face, leaving, leaving this side exposed for a right hand, a left hand coming straight across. I'm gone. It's over. Whether it be point, MMA, either way, I just got caught. Now, but if you throw the back fist or a jab, back fist, and I close the gap on it and continue to work, I close, this might go through a, uh, maybe a three-second fraction of a froze. And at three seconds, all I need is a, a half of one of those fractions of a second that I, that I just froze him in. I'm going to hit him in the rear. If I'm MMA, I'm going to go across using my forearm. Come on, wait a minute. Use my forearm because, because he have no top. So I'm going to use my forearm to pull him back and hit him with a sweep at the same time and send him to the floor. He have no top, so you have to learn how to use your forearm if you're MMA or UFC. Again, back fist, a jab. I'm going to his blind side. I'm hiding my stuff from him. At the same time, I have to realize his stuff is hidden from me too. So, but I did the freeze and he didn't. So I'm, I have advantage, advantage for a, half, a, a, 
a quarter of a second, I have advantage. But during that quarter of a second, I use only 1% of that quarter. You understand? So, I, 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 I jam, I throw my forearm across. Or you can make it a double technique. You strike, come across, and pull back at the same time. Again, that is breaking time. Now, uniform fighters. Uniform fighters. Turn this way. Uniform fighters. Fighters. Now, okay, back. We're going to do the same thing. This is for uniform fighters. Back fist. And, and back, back fist, back, back fist, back, back fist, back fist, back fist. I take off. Okay. Now, uniform fighter. We finna go beyond breaking timing. We finna actually tap into his sixes mind thought process. You hear me? We finna go beyond breaking timing. Now, back fist. Back fist. Let me tell you when I knew he was going to throw a back fist and this arm going to move. This uniform top, right at his shoulder, tensed up. It moves. It moves. Every time, every time he gets to throw a back fist for real, it moves. All of my career, I never watched a man face. I back once the judge say, fighting stand, I look at his head and I judge. I let my mind take a picture of his head. And from that point on, I watch his shoulder to his hip. I don't watch nothing else. I do not look at his feet. His hip and his shoulder going to give me all the technique I know. All that I want is coming from his shoulder and his hip. Whatever type of kick he going to throw, his hip going to tell me. Yeah, I know about all the little fakes and everything, but that doesn't work on me. It never did. The shoulder and the hip. That's what's going to talk to me, and that's what I'm going to shut down before he get it off. Okay, again, before he moves, this is jumps. Now, doing this, his shoulders rotate. But when he actually get ready to throw the back fist, the, the, sh the shirt goes upward for the back fist. But when he's faking, it rotates. That's a big difference. Okay, the same thing with a roundhouse kick. Roundhouse, again, throw it high. Again, roundhouse, roundhouse. Okay, now that's timing. Okay, again, roundhouse. <laughs> I begin, I work with the hip. Now, I'm going to show you a basic way. You can freeze it and hit if you. Now, you want to sense a look. You want to get a little nasty be in the point fight. You strike with the palm of your heel right on top over the knee or right on the knee. You send a shock wave. You not only cause the injury to the knee, but you send a shock wave back to his hip and cause him, his body go, goes off balance. If you go to my page on YouTube, you'll see me fight my student has Scorpion. You will see him fall off balance every time he got ready to throw a roundhouse kick. I was hitting him with a palm heel block every time he raised his leg. I hit him on top of his thigh, thigh, and with a snap and sort of shock wave back to his hip to throw him out balance. He will fall. While he's off balance, I'll be coming in striking. That's how I, what I beat him with. Okay, we're going to stop here because we can roll this for a long, long time, and we'll come back in a different section, and we will talk to you later. But I am the one and only Matthew Jane Class for Senior, number one. On four, for four states, without pads, on the feet, I was number one. When they brought in pads, I was still number one. A lot of top number two and three fighters, they left the game because they said that wasn't karate. I mastered fighting it with the pads by going into boxing. So when I mastered the pads, I kept continuing to fight and gave me a up on the game because we was used to using knife hand strikes, palm heel strikes. And all that was taken away when they brought in safety equipment. I'll talk to you later. The one and only. Eric Foster. Y'all be good. <laughs>